that chimney was way more narrow than it looked from the top. Jeez, how am I still so clean? I've been through so many chimneys and there's just like no dirt on this suit at all. I guess that's just part of the magic. The last thing I need is to have to stop at the dry cleaners. I've got enough places to hit as it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, jeez. <laughs> you startled me. Hey, 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 put the baseball bat down. The, this isn't Yankee Stadium. You don't need that. No, no, I... No, I... I know this is your house. I also know that you've been very good this year. N no, no, no. No, don't call the cops. J just wait. Wait. Give me a second to explain. Yeah, no, I, I will. I'll, I'll talk very fast. I... I well, isn't it obvious who I am? Santa. Santa Claus. Yes, yes, the Santa Claus. I'm not kidding around. No, I, no, I'm not a thief. I, I'm not, I, just look at me. Just look at me. Like, really, really look. Check it out. I've got the black shiny boots. I've got the red suit. I've got a bushy white beard. The round belly. <sighs> okay, you know what? No. No, I, I can't. I can't do this. I haven't been going to CrossFit five days a week to pretend I have a keg instead of a six-pack. No, forget it. No, forget it. Look, see? The fluffy tummy, it's fake. It, it's a pillow. Look at this. And the beard? The beard is fake, too. I agreed to wear the suit, but all the extra stuff, they said... They said I had to wear it to keep up appearances. Which I said shouldn't be necessary, because every house I visit is supposed to be asleep. So who exactly would I be dressing up for? Who's they? Who do you think? The elves. Yeah, the elves, back at the North Pole. Come on, like any of this is news to you. Santa's workshop, flying reindeer, a whole shebang. No, I am not crazy. <sighs> hey, are those cookies gluten-free? You know what? You know what? The heck with it. I deserve a cheat day. Mm. Dang. These are good. Where'd you pick these up? You made them? Wow. These are like the best cookies I've ever had. Mind if I take the rest for the road? Or the sky? I've got a lot more houses to visit. I am certain that you're very smart. So don't just stand there staring at me like that. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just feeling a little stressed. But that makes two of us, right? You probably weren't expecting some stranger to come tumbling out of your fireplace tonight. Although, if you weren't, then why, oh why, would you bake up 
these delicious cookies and leave them out on a platter. Tradition? Yeah, you got me there. I used to leave out cookies and carrots and celery for the reindeer. But that's just what kids do, I guess. <sighs> no. No, I'm fine. <sighs> I... I'm just tired. I've been at this for a while, and with the different time zones, I... I don't even know which end is up. Yeah... Yeah, this way, it can travel... Jeez, I don't even know what I'm allowed to say. This may sound ridiculous. Like, why even ask, but... Can I trust you? You know what? Forget. Dumb question. I'm just going to tell you, and you decide what to believe for yourself. I'm... I'm not. Santa Claus. No kidding, right? I mean, what version of Santa Claus has ever been disyoked? I'm a mechanic. I work on stuff. Anything that moves, I can make it work. So, so there I am, in my garage, about to drop a sweet hemi in a client's vintage 1968 Dodge Dart Superstock when it starts snowing. And when I say snowing, I mean inside my garage, like a blizzard just appears and starts swirling around me like a cyclone and it sucks me in and it like pulls me in and I'm spinning around and when I land on my face I'm elbow deep in a snowbank. My teeth start chattering but it is nothing compared to the loudest chattering of hundreds of tiny little elves all talking at once and trying to pull me in opposite directions. I don't know. I, some sort of arctic vortex device? I have no idea. Look, I know it sounds insane, but, but it happened. Uh, they were saying that they needed someone to fix the sleigh, and for whatever reason, they chose me. Yeah, of course I asked them why me. Well, yeah, well, they said... They said they chose me because, because I'm a good, because I'm a good person. But, I mean, that's what they said. I, I mean, they didn't use the word person, but th that's, they said I'm a good boy. You happy? You got anything to drink around here? No, not milk. <sighs> anyway, they led me inside and showed me the sleigh. It was in rough shape. They all started chanting, Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. It was like the most annoying little chant ever, so I agreed in hopes that they would shut up. <sighs> they cheered, and then they, like, vanished, evaporated. It was wild. And all the doors suddenly locked. Yeah, I tried, I tried the doors, and I couldn't. So anyway, I, I started working. <sighs> 
They said my only chance of getting out was if I got the sleigh working. So I worked. There were no windows or clocks. So yeah, just like a Las Vegas casino, basically. I kept my head down and I worked. Not exactly understanding what I was doing, but trying my best. And then, eventually, a door burst open and the elves started chanting, It's time. It's time. It's time. Terrifying and confusing. Time for what? I said. They all came at me at once, knocking me down. It was like being overrun like an army of little tiny ants. When I was able to shake them off me, I, I was all geared up, just as I am right now, looking like I was late for a shift at the mall, taking pictures with the little brats and listening to all their... listening to all their wish lists and hopes and dreams. Yes, yes, this full Santa get up. I mean, red velour was never my look, but... Anyway. They said the real Santa had made some adjustments, what he had called improvements, to the sleigh and the nitrous boosters he installed with haywire on his first test run, and he crashed directly into the frozen lake. No, no, he's not dead. No, no. No, they fished him out, and also the sleigh, but, um, but he was out of commission for this year. So, sleigh repairs and a stand-in were necessary. So, why not get a two-for-one? Yeah, that that's me, apparently. Why did I agree? I guess because I'm a good boy, person, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I woke you up and scared you half to death, you and your husband, or, or, or boyfriend, or, no. Well, they're not on the list, but I didn't want to assume so it's just you here? You and your baseball bat. You're funny. Yeah, and you've got a great smile. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, well, cookie break is over. I better get back at it. Back to delivering the presents. Oh, hey, that reminds me. This is for you. Yeah, you can open it. Yeah, open it right up. It's just what you wanted, right? Why do you look confused? You, you didn't wish for this? Um, well, yes you did. It says so on the list. Look, look, here's your name, here's your address, and there's your present. That's, that's not you. Are you being serious? The next house over? Oh, great. Oh my gosh. How many drop-offs have I missed up? No, it's not okay. I'm responsible for the happiness of millions and millions of kids across the globe, and... Yeah, obviously, I know you're not a child. I thought maybe you were young at heart, and so that's why you were getting a present? Shoot, I am an idiot. What were these elves thinking? What? You'll tell me your real Christmas wish? 
um, oh, well, I mean, you can if you want, but I, I don't know how reliable I am in making anything happen, but I could pass it along to the elves, and maybe they could put in a good word with the big guy. <laughs> sure. Hey, tell you what, you sit right here and tell me what you really want for Christmas. Yeah, on my lap. Gotta follow tradition, right? Oh, please, I could bench press two of you at once. Are you... Are you actually... You're gonna really sit on my lap. You are so funny. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine, whenever. Call my bluff. That's what I get, I guess. Yeah, yeah, come here. You sit right here and tell me what you really want for Christmas. You want me to put the beard back on? Make it more official? Oh, oh no, I'm the one that's being silly. You prefer me this way? Well, well I like you too. I mean, you're cute, just the way you are. I mean, you know what? This is bad. No, 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 dear, you're not bad. No, no, I mean, I don't have any proof that you're not officially on the list. But, but, I just have a feeling that if I could prove it, you would be on the good list. <clears throat> because I have a feeling that you're very, very good. Yeah, I do. And since you're good, that means you get whatever you want. Absolutely, I mean, those are the rules, right? Um, I will do whatever I can to make it happen. I will do whatever I can to make your wish come true. And that's a promise. So, what do you want to tell me? That's your wish. To ride in the sleigh and help deliver the presents. See, I knew it. You're so good. Come on. Yeah, yeah, on your feet, sugar plum. I told you, you could have whatever you wanted, so go grab your coat. Yeah, we've got some fancy flying to do. <laughs>